what they're saying is go ahead and pay those taxes to the state directly. So you, the producer, has to file, but you no longer have to pay. We will have prepaid those taxes for you. So in several states, we are a marketplace facilitator and take that off your desk as well. One less task to do. So we manage regulatory compliance. We also provide a shopping cart and club management program. You're allowed to do this however you want. Many wineries sign up and they use everything. They put our shopping cart onto their website, they put their club management program onto their website, and they know every sale will be compliant. If you have an existing solution, we have also had people come in and say, I want to keep my own system right now what, where I have it and add leadership as a compliment to what I have. So in that situation, we've seen some of the producers say, hey, if you're shipping in-state, click here on our existing shopping cart. If you're shipping out of state, click over here, and it will go to the Vino Super provided club management registration or online shopping. A bonus for our Idaho wineries, which include meaderies and cideries, is we've created a catalog page for you. That catalog page, when you promote Idaho wines, will allow people to come to this one landing page powered by Vino Shipper, but specifically for Idaho wines, and they can search. Who are my Idaho wineries? Where should I be shopping? Where can I go visit this weekend? Maybe I want to know who ships to California, who ships to Texas. I can find those things and make it readily available, really to uncover how many wineries are in Idaho so they can really start to explore the beauty and the taste of your country. Country state, sorry about that. So how does it work? Well. An order comes in through the shopping cart. We clearly do the third party age verification. Again, this is required in some states. Date of birth, the address, and the name, and validate that this person is 21 years of age or older. Or we, back, we ask for backup validation. When this is done, we know who is buying. So one, we're compliant. Two, we're not selling to children. That's all good. The third part is we really don't have fraud because we know who's buying from us. So that's a great thing. Volume and quantity checks. I'm in the state of California. We have no limits. We're the number one and number two buying state for direct to consumer sales. So that's fabulous. You go right above me to Oregon and they have two cases per month per person. Well, easy enough, you think, oh, I'll just, you know, limit everybody to two cases per month per person. Truth be told, sometimes those cases get broken or lost. You actually have to send more than two cases. So our reports in our compliance engine are tracking all of those things for you to make it very easy. You don't have to use sticky notes or try to remember what happened three months ago. Why did we send three cases up to Bob in Oregon? You actually know it's all done for you via being a shipper. The shipping rates are also discounted. Our carriers, ours is, ours is UPS, but UPS and FedEx both give discounted rates and it's done by volume. Right now we work with over 2,300 wineries. We work with large programs as well as a lot of university programs like Stanford and Notre Dame. So by building these all together under a corporate account, we start a UPS account just for your winery. When orders are placed through, it's treated because it's under our corporate umbrella as a special account. So you get those volume discounts and shipping rates. You no longer pay for UPS pickup, which is $10.50 a month. So that's over $500 saved a year. Somebody needs to redirect a package, it's $17.50 under normal circumstances. But in our case, when somebody needs to redirect a package, we will take that redirect and not charge the customer for making that redirection. There's a lot of other benefits here as well. We ensure every package shipped through Vino Shipper. So if something goes and it breaks, you email our customer service, tell us the order number, tell us what broke, we will buy the new wines at the price you paid for it, and you'll have a new order coming through immediately to replace the wines that were broken or stolen. I will tell you as a small winery, when I worked as a small winery, I filed UPS claims, maybe only about three or four a year. We weren't doing that much shipping. On the other side of it, I got zero UPS claims ever filled. And it is a long, arduous process that just goes away with Venus Shipper. So I do love the fact that one of the benefits of shipping with Venus Shipper is that we do insure those packages. Whether it's hot, whether it's cold, whether it gets stolen or lost, we got your back. 
tax collections. Here I have sales tax collections. But in states like New Hampshire, they don't even have sales tax. So we get that call. Why did you charge me tax? You do have excise tax. So again, our system is very smart. It's up to date. We weren't just made for wineries. We are a winery and we use our own system every single day of the year. So as we have our compliance checks completed, we know our shipping rate is actual and discounted and we have our taxes collected. We look down and we ask for the producer, did you have any discounts you wanted us to apply? Is it $5 off shipping? Do you get 10% off a case order? Or, and, do you add a packaging fee? When people often did their pricing for their wine, they didn't think of the expense of putting it into a box and the shippers that are required to ship wine safe, safely. So maybe you want to add $5 for a packaging fee or $10. You are in your own account and you can set these rules up. You can also change them at any time. So we're ready for that. We have that all applied. And right now, we have a compliance sale. Venus Shipper charges the credit card. We absorb the merchant processing fee. We send an email to you to let you know you have an order pending and we're on our way. So when the email comes to you, letting you know that there's instructions in every email. So for some reason, if you happen to have a day away from the office and someone is really good for you, no problem. They'll know exactly what to do. They'll have our email address and our phone number to call if they need help. Basically what you do is there's a link that takes you right to the order. So you click on that link. In addition to clicking on that link, now you have to push three buttons. One, two, three. One, you print the packing slip. There's a button that says packing slip. You push it, it will print it out. It will tell you exactly which items were ordered. Get that into the box. You can put any kind of collateral in there, whether it's pairing recipes, invite them to do the Wednesday night tasting that you do every week. Whatever you want to go in that package, you can. But you're going to put everything into that package. The second button prints the UPS label. The UPS label is a paid UPS label because the buyer generally pays for shipping when they place their order. So you can print that on like my printer, a desktop printer for letters, or you can go to a zebra printer and print it there. Now you've got your package, it's good to go. There's a button that says UPS pickup. At no cost to you, you push that UPS pickup button, it will put the date that they're coming. If you've pushed it before 2.30 and they haven't been there, they'll come out the very same day. I know some of them are tiny and they're down the road and UPS won't go there. Well, they will now. With us, because you're part of a large corporation right now under that UPS account, they will come down and they will pick up those packages again at no cost to you. How is the packages in the mail? It's got to be treated a little differently. We notice shipping wine, so a little bit more attention given to the wine packaging and delivery that we can actually increase the success rates of delivery. That's a good, that is important because as packages fail delivery, they get returned to you and there's a return shipping fee. And then chances are you have to cancel the order where the customer says, could you reship it? And there's a reshipping fee. So the more packages we can get delivered on their attempts for the first shipment, the better off everybody is. We can deliver to business and residential. We can deliver out to rural. Anywhere UPS will deliver, we can get there. If you're in a situation where you can't take a delivery, maybe you work where you can't have a wine delivery, you have a PO box, or you're just not able to, or you're on a military base. That's another good one where people want to buy wine if they can't get it sent to a military base. No problems. UPS has many locations that are called access points and they will allow and accept the delivery of wine at no cost to you. So whether you put in your address, there will be options that pop up. Here's alternative delivery addresses, AKA access points. So not all UPS stores are an access point. However, many are, and we know which ones are. So you can just do those. UPS is also working with other retailers. So my UPS access point is not open on a Sunday. Maybe I need a Sunday delivery, no problem. We have other alternatives from UPS, like Ace Automotive and Michael's Craft Store. They'll actually accept your wine and hold it for seven days for you at no cost to you to pick it up. Makes it very easy. The wine is not sitting in a truck three times for three deliveries, just overheating. It basically can be delivered, dropped off, and secured. So it's convenient for you to pick up. In addition to that, when you create an order and UPS comes and scans the package, the customer gets an email that says the package is on its way. 
So it kind of gives you a clue. Excellent. It should be coming soon. But the day before delivery, the customer will also get an email saying your package is scheduled to be delivered tomorrow. That's my trigger. If I'm the person who's going to have the wine delivery, I go down, I put a note on my door, dear UPS, I'm here, I'm slow, but I'm here. So I want to communicate with UPS, I'm here. In that delivery notification the day before, you can actually go in. The customers can go in and change it. I'm not going to be here. Send it next door to Betty. Or you feel like you're not going to be able to accept the package, I'll send it to a UPS store. Again, when the customer is doing that, there's no charge to the customer. So they could just make sure the package is indeed delivered and easy for pickup. So let's say I don't relocate it. I'm going to have it come to my house. First delivery attempt, second delivery attempt, third delivery attempt. When it comes down, each time I'm supposed to have a sticker on my door and I'm going to get an email reminding me that they missed the delivery, I missed the delivery, but they're going to try again on the next business day. So it could very well be three days in a row. On the third failed delivery, you, the producer, is going to get an email saying Trace is a loser. I'm kidding. But basically, that's what it's saying is Trace is not available to accept the delivery of wine. This is our third failed attempt. We'll hold the package for a few days back at our hub. Well, that's a hit for you. Pick up the phone and call, text and email that person and let them know, Tracy, we're having a hard time delivering your wine. I don't want you to have to pay return shipping. If you add that little note in there that they have skin in the game and they don't, will have to pay return shipping, quite often it's enough to ignite them to call you back and say, I'm sorry, you know, ship it to my neighbor next door. Hey, Michael's craft store is great. And you can actually get that wine order delivered on those first attempts. Again, redirecting that package at no cost to you and to the customer. So that third failed delivery notice is just so important. Now, for you and me, we're trying to avoid the return wine, the grumpy customer, and the additional expense. For the customer, what results is they usually say, oh my gosh, thank you for having my back. Thanks for making sure I'm not going to pay for return shipping and for redirecting it to a place I can get. So it really builds the relationship, which is nice because we are just trying to solve a problem. Bottom line is you're also not paying that $17.50 to redirect a package. So it makes it very easy and a very nice service to offer. Vino Super allows you to come on in. Like I said, no installation, no monthly recurring fee. And we just continue to improve, to improve our features, our functions, and the states to which we can ship. And we're working very hard to build bridges and build relationships with states across the country. So when you go you can register at venoshipper.com you can get started. We'll send you the documentation that we place for the trademark and the production agreements to get your states and your brand expanding across the country to as many states as possible. Once you complete those documents, we can implement them across the country. You personally add your products, set up your prices. We approve everything. So we're always checking the colas and the prices. You set in your programs and your rules for shipping. Do you charge a packaging fee? Will you ship overnight as well as ground? I know some of our states, when they get very cold and very hot, they only allow overnight shipping. So these are things that you can customize and choose as the weather changes and the demands of your customers change. Our shopping cart and our white club management can be added to your website. So when somebody comes in and they have a shopping cart, they might, again, add us as a compliment to that cart. They might replace that cart with us. Our cart and our club management is provided in a chunk of code. Other people will call it an iframe. Some people will call it HTML. I call it a paragraph of code that I can click on, copy, and paste on the most posted websites without a problem. We have the same thing for online club management. Once you become a customer as well, we'll have classes. One of the classes comes from me. And I have over 30 years of direct-to-consumer experience in client club management as well. And so what I try to do is give a 90-minute class that will help you develop your own club program that is successful, whether it's redefining what you have and retiring the old or coming up with something new. We also have classes on sales beyond the tasting room, which allow you, with our tasting room doors closed for many of us, how to sell beyond the tasting room without people walking through the doors. And that's been a su successful class as well. We also have classes on making sure you can get the most savings and benefits out of your Venus Shipper account, as well as managing a club release. And I welcome you all to those classes. So 
once you register, you get the documents up and running. We can usually get your sales to begin within about five business days. You remain the brand of your wine, the voice, and the face. The nice part about our service as well, our customer service team will help your customers. If they're calling in with damaged packages and they need a replacement, if they're looking to redirect a package or ask about something, we're happy to help them. If they're calling in to say, could you tell us about the Chardonnay? Or I'm trying to buy six bottles of cab, but I can't get six because it says you're out. That is not a solution we can offer. So those calls and those emails we're gonna to send to you. So you can build those relationships and make sure that you have those people falling in love with you and coming back right away. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Ashley at the Idaho Wine Commission. You're certainly welcome to go to VivaShipper.com. We have tons of information on that site as well, and that's where you would register. You're welcome to call me. I'd be glad to talk to you and answer any questions that you have. Again, there's no installation, no monthly recurring fee, and no term commitment, so there's really no risk. Just an opportunity for you to expand your brand across the country. Thank you so much for sharing this time with me, and I look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you.